shouldn't be. I have no idea what place this is. God dang, I love this music. The music definitely is taking me back to some of the sounds that I heard in uh, the first Witcher game. Just going around and exploring the, the uh, open area of whatever that first town area was called. What is? What was it called? Was it Vermeer? Witcher uh, 1 areas? Witcher locations? You started at Kaer and Yeah, the outskirts of Azima. Yeah. It's, it, this music sounds sort of similar to the music that you hear when you're walking around Vizima. It's good. We need to walk this uh, bridge here. All right. Get out of my way, you. Blooming cockroaches. I've never been this way, so maybe I should say... Music starting to sound a little uh, eternal fiery. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. Eternal fire. Stay at your origin. Valen. War's on there, sir. Valen's a hive of witchcraft and superstition. Remember, we catch you engaging in black magic. You'll be interrogated and tried. Me? Black magic, sir? I'm a simple lumberjack. Then I don't know what you seek in this city. We've no need for loggers. Whoa, that guy threw his knife all the way up there. Do you see that? Dude, that's freaking cool. Leave me be. It's amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen that done. Especially just some random guy doing it. Um, it's all the way over here. It's below, it says, so stop going up and go down, actually. Down to, like, over here. You can learn a great deal when you can. Is it down that way? I want to say it is. Gotta be over this way. It's gotta be below this or something. How would I get down there? Um, I guess I would just have to just like take a boat or swim over there or something. I can't, it's below, so. Duty calls. So we're gonna need to like jump in the water over here. Hope it'll be fine. Jump. Oh, there's like so many rocks right there. It's like not a good place to try. This has got to be a good spot. No. Oh, don't. Let's do that, Carol. This looks like a better area to drop down to. Oh yeah, here we go. This is this is how you get down a mountain. Yeah, right here. Alright, we gotta explore this cave for some Witcher gear. 
So let's do that. I don't need that. This guy got we'll hide. Yep. Someone placed an illusion here. Get rid of that illusion. That's the wrong thing. I wonder why I'm just uh, walking. Uh oh, I heard something. I heard something. Uh oh, it's like a stone, like guardian or something. I see, I need to light these though. So I can get some better light down here. And because, why not light them? What is all this stuff? a different path. What is that thing? Can I kill it? Yep, I totally can. Golem. I think it would have actually let me take control of it, is what that was up Maybe magic trap would be best for that. Oh. Let's see what magic trap does. Magic traps will slow them. That's probably a good idea to do. Whoa! You can't make the same noise as a big daddy. That's kind of cool. Come on, come closer. I don't know why I do that every time it's a close call. That's with all my. Oh my God, rampage! Need to be hit once. Man, that probably like lowered the durability so hard on my sword here. Well, anyways. So let's continue on. Apparently, it's up there. But I kind of want to explore. You know me. When I, a path that I should be going on, I like to explore something else. Shouldn't. This should be the end, I would think. Ooh, no. Actually, we can climb here. Why is the camera like super zoomed in on Geralt for walking through this cave. Something cool about to happen or what? Is anything about your senses? This is a temple by the way, so maybe I should go back. What does this say? Look to the depths to be lifted. I have a feeling like this is going to be like Super puzzly down here. Maybe I shouldn't come this way just yet. Ow. Dried fish. What? Really? I finished off like 25 waters already? Temple Isle. Can I light these things so that way? Night. Night, so I can see. 
Even though I have a torch. Even though I have a cat potion. What is this? Wait a minute, it says it's over here somewhere. Nearby. Maybe I actually have to light these things and something happens, maybe. Maybe. Don't walk over the fire, Geralt. No? Alright, well how about up here then? Bet you it's in here. Locked. Key required. Great. Yep. Yep, gotta get a key. Gotta get a key. Gotta get a key. Gotta get a key. How do I, uh... I would like to light that. Because uh, I imagine... What the heck was that? Oh. Dude, it seriously looked like... I thought somebody was running over there. Those stupid rocks. Pointy rocks. I can't light that. I don't think I need to light it to get something to open for me. Anything up here? Oh. Alright, well we're gonna have to check these side rooms then. Poison. The heck? Say. Not up there. Alright. Side rooms of death, here we go. I gotta know, man, I gotta know. I like to explore like everything. I should be fine. I'm like... I'm like maybe... Mm, maybe like 70 or something experience away from being level 19, so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. One room looked like it was a puzzle, though. Yep. Treasure all the way over here. Invoice for a golem. Get ready. Here's the enemies. No, no enemies? Wait, they want you to think it's safe. Yep. They want you to think it's safe. Easy! Level 7 raid, are you kidding me? Too easy. All that's in here, man. Alright. I probably should read that book, but I don't know. It's never safe. It's not safe if you're under level. But almost level 19, I should be able to handle it. Now, I tried to go up to the to that door. It was locked. Um I did make my way this way. And it looked to be sort of like a puzzly sort of room. So, we'll just have to just wait and see. to the depths to be filled it up. What do we got here? I don't want to use that because I don't know what's going on. Loot research notes. Well, we probably should read that. Uh, invoice for a golem. Jehuda Lowe. Uh, 
In the event of damage to the ceramic, please report immediately to the nearest branch of Jehuda Law. Apprentices, gotcha. As per the instructions of our supervisor, uh, Steingard, we have conducted a series of studies on the genotype of creatures commonly known as drowners. Sadly, administering a poison made of fugu fish induced a coma in all the specimens in the study. After 24 hours, the vital functions of all above mentioned specimens ceased, preventing us from continuing with the study. It's a puzzle. Well, let's examine it and see if I can figure it out. That, what did, he didn't even say anything about the blood stains. I'm not going to walk right in there. So it looks like there is a lot of levers we can pull here. There's also a wraith. I like how the sword glows when a monster appears. Uh, mysterious recipe? Uh, is... Mysterious recipe. Pascal and Timo? Who's named Timo? 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 Uh, between the treatments of Drowner, so he's probably writing the recipe. For my famous spiced chicken and pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, chicken thighs. Or chicken breast. I'm a fan of chicken breast. I prefer that. Uh, yep, yep. Hmm. I don't know what that... I don't know when we're going to have to use that. So I guess I just start pulling, uh... Pulling some levers and seeing what happens. Wait a minute, do we need to... See, this statue is facing the inside here, and everything else is facing out. This guy's facing to the side here. Do we, need... we probably need them all to be facing in, I imagine. Uh, so let's save before start pulling stuff. Uh, probably need to pull it again. Yeah. Wait a minute. Well, all in. Gotcha. I wasn't sure because most molts. Oh, blow it off. Most of them are facing outwards, like towards the camera. Um, but I think they need to be facing in. Round and around we go, or no one's stopped. That's pretty good. But how's it going, Chew Toy? How are you doing today? As we conversate while we turn everything round and round. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty pumped uh, for the Final Fantasy XIV expansion tomorrow. Uh, Heaven's Word. Can't wait to play that tomorrow. I think it starts at 2 a.m., but I'm not going to be playing it at 2 a.m. There's, there's just no way. It's like the time that I get ready to go to bed. So I'm not going to play that at 2 a.m. Oh yeah, here we go. Unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. Gotcha. There's a shark down here. Oh, it's not a shark, it's drowners. Uh... 
Why can't I? Oh, all right. Uh, crossbow, crossbow. Can I pull it out? Just a one-shot kill every single time. Oh, come on. That was, like, right there, man. There we go. Alright, uh... Dive, 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 dive. Laboratory key. Yep, got it. That's the key we need. And I'm pretty sure that recipe that we got is what we're gonna have to use. I don't think there was anything else down there. I'm gonna check really quickly one more time. Your sense is on. There's no hidden compartments or anything like that, so we're good. We got what we need. The key opens to my death. Well, we'll see about that. Do 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 So many misses, man. Every time you play an RPG, save and save often. Just in case you, you never know when it's gonna crash. Yes, laboratory. Oh, there's a guy here. No good, no evil, only pain. Oh, Mad Kieran, gotcha. You were the one that has been mentioned in all these books here. I kind of want to see what you look like. Wow. Alright. Well. Gone mad, man! Let's end this. Oh. Too easy. It's because I'm overleveled, probably. Moonblade, I like that name. Oratory book, trousers, gauntlets, boots, armor. Complete. Now we get to read everything. Girls of the North already got that book. Skellige is not our destination. We still have to do... We still have to meet Triss. Uh, for... Siggy Rubin's treasure. Um... I could do these other ones. At least the ones that are 18. Find the second treasure using your Witcher Sense. Find the boots diagram. We'll do, we'll do that one. Uh, what is the book, actually? Laboratory with notes. Uh, let's just skim through this. This is like the laboratory from like the end of the first game. It's not really, but just another laboratory. Kind of reminds me of the first game. Uh, okay, alright. He had grown sick of the grills. Alright. Uh, experiments conducted on drowners. You know what? I kind of really don't care. I kind of don't care. I've already read a lot already. Manuscript. I'll read it probably later on. It's fine. It's cool. 
I gotta loot everything though. Didn't have anything. Well, I already took everything on off the body. Dude, don't want any of that. Dude, dude, dude. dude. Lab laboratory. Cow's milk, goat's milk. I think I already have gnomish pranks. Gnomish pranks again. Somebody really loves gnomish pranks. Control of the elder races. Already got it. Can't. Want to loot this. Elven sages. Already got that. Already got it. Already read it. Uh, there's just stuff back here. All right, we got everything here. We did it, did it, team. Let's check the weapons. Uh, moon blade. It's a silver sword. It's actually plus sixty. I lose out on 20 bonus experience from monsters, though. But I do need to upgrade my sword, so let's just kind of do it. You hardly get experience for killing monsters and humans and things anyway, so it kind of really doesn't matter. We got Long Claw earlier, but ours is still better. I love that plus 45 armor piercing. That's so good. That's poop we can sell. That's poop, poop. Poop. Uh, it's poop as well. I wish there was a storage system in this game where I could just save these swords. Because even though I'll probably never use them, I'm the sort of person that will uh, want to hold on to it just because it's cool. Just because it's a relic weapon. But plus 69, 200. Well done. Yep. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's 60 damage, yep. It's... You just basically get all the experience just from just doing actual quests and stuff. Killing things gives you super low experience. Like, you'll be lucky if you kill like 5 or 6 enemies and get maybe like 20 experience. It's raining out here. Alright, so where is this sunken treasure? We'll probably do the sunken treasure and then that other one, and then we'll do the go meet Triss uh, by the eternal fire shrine or whatever. Or the treasure of Sigiruvan. But as you can see, most of this stuff is explored. The stuff down here I didn't explore at the time because. Uh, a lot of the enemies were like level 20 and stuff and I was just like nope not gonna do it so hangman alley gotcha all right so we need to go all the way back to the bridge do that um, but I've done pretty much all of the exploring on this map I've got about 69 hours in this game played it day one when it came out um, and I've probably only completed like 20-25% of the story. It's open world and there was just so many things that I wanted to explore. That's how I like to play my games. Oh, it's hard to like a pirate in this weather. And really that's like been my mentality the past couple of years every time I play the game. Is try to do everything that I can. So I guess I'm sort of like a completionist, but not really. So I'm having the same feelings the the I had when I played uh, Dragon Age Inquisition when it came out. Like I put like 140 hours into that game. I explored all the areas, did all the quests and everything. That was a super fun game. Alright, we need to go all the way to Hangman's Hill. Get this uh, Witcher gear going. 
Where is Hangman? So, Hangman's Hill, Hangman's Alley. Dojing. <laughs> Man's Alley. I still think this game looks gorgeous. At least on my end, it does. For the stream, it, it probably doesn't look that great, actually. But for me, the player, the player experience, it's been lovely so far. Herbalist. I probably need a sell some stuff. Under 19 out of 130. 